We move on and kick off the main card here with the professional light heavyweights, Roger Brackett versus Ron Marshall. Roger Brackett making his return to the cage after a long layoff. His last fight was at Cage Titans 28 in 2016, where he, won, uh, where he fell victim to an arm bar in the second round to Joe Levisor. He's gonna be walking out first. Joining us in the commentary booth for the second half of tonight's fights, bantamweight champion Jay Perrin. How do you do? We are fantastic. It's been a crazy night of fights. What a oh way to cap off that has. undercard. Unbelievable fashion. Shocking. Uh, we're going to only, only com continue the momentum with the excitement for these on next a, six fights. On a night where the MMA world is essentially on fire, Correct. Cage Titans has delivered with, with you, Andy. Correct that uh, I was worried for his safety because of, you know, the streak that he had been on. And I hope that he came in here and he would prove me wrong. And and gosh darn it, that the man he did. did. He, <laughs> I got to give my did. hats off to, to, uh, to Rob Fuller. That was a great performance. He looked like he really improved a lot of things um, from his last fight. So uh, I'm really happy that you put my own foot in my mouth there, Rob. So congratulations to you. We await the light heavyweight showdown. Here at Cage Titans 46. So here you go. So you know, Roger Brackett. Been around for a long time. A uh, bit of a layoff here. This is Marshall or Brackett? Brackett's walking back. Brackett's walking. Correct. We got, uh, and Roger Brackett is 6 and 5 in his professional career, and he went 2 and 0 in 2006. Then he followed up going 2-0 in 2007, suffering his first loss in 08. All, I was still in high school during these days. I, mean, I was a freshman. <laughs> sophomore, baby. Was it 08? Sophomore, baby. Yep, yeah. sophomore in high school. And then he bounces back with a win in 2009. And then he goes 0-1 in 2010, 2011, and 2012, where he lost to Eric Sommer by a first round rear naked choke at Cage Titans 10. Cage Titans 10. That's how long he's been around. 47 years young. And he claimed to me last night at weigh-ins that this would be his final fight. Trying to get back in the win column, sailing to the sunset with a big win at the light heavyweight division. His last win came in 2015 at Cage Titans 26, where he triangled Ralph Johnson, who had graced his cage several times before, a seasoned veteran in his own right. So Roger Brackett has fought the who's who at 205 and is looking to showcase that father time hasn't gotten to him yet with a big win tonight over Ron Marshall. I, I have personally never seen Mr. Brackett fight himself. He looks, he's coming out, looks very determined. And you know what, the, like you said, uh, the, he claims this is his last fight. If that's his last fight, that also makes him very dangerous because there isn't anything more to lose at this point. So no matter what his record indicates right now, he's still a very dangerous person with a very dangerous mindset going into this match with Ron Marshall. There we go, Roger Brackett enters the cage for what Very he claims is the last time. time in his career. Could it be his swan song? Big smile on his face. That's how you want to enter that. It's going to leave it, leave it all. You know, Warriors want to go out in their shield. And you know the last thing to go is the power. And that's a big Absolutely. name sure. Roger Brackett. And here comes another big man in Ron Marshall from Hampton, you, New Hampshire, representing Nostos and Team Anubis. You know, he's decorated in his own right, had a great amateur career where he fought the who's who. Fabio Charant, who had a stint on the Contender Series. William Knight, who scored a contract off of the Contender Series. Steve Kimball, who's still prominent at the amateur ranks today. And then he's fought only two savages, 0-2 in his pro career, where he lost his third bout with uh, Fabio Charant, went 1-2 and two against him. Uh, the last one being a professional fight at CES 53, and then he returns to face Jesse McGilligan at Cage Titans 43, where he lost an absolute back and forth brawl, where he showcased a lot of improvements in his cardio, his endurance, his grappling, and his fight IQ, no doubt. And he's looking to prove that his improvements have improved even more against Roger Brackett. Yeah, and that fight with McGilligan, man, uh, he was getting up a lot of experience there. McGilligan is a guy who's been around for a long time, and. Ron Marshall took that fight at 0-1, and like you said, it was a battle. It was not an easy fight. So, I mean, like you said, he's made a lot of strides in his cardio, his whole game as a whole, and, yeah, he's, he's looking to get in the win column. And like you said, Andy, before, he, he's improved a little bit each time he's gotten in the cage. From the time he fought Fabio, 
this last fight with Jesse McElligan. There have, I can never say his name. I apologize, Jesse, if I never say it. Uh, here we go for the front of the team. Point being, he improves every time. He's going to come here and see what he's got for us. Let's take this a look time. at the tail of the tape. 47 years young for Roger Brackett. 205, 204, 72, 71. Mr. Brackett with the one inch reach advantage. Let's bring it inside the cage with Mr. Andy here for the introductions. We're ready to go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We kick off this main card with our ninth bout of the evening. A professional light heavyweight matchup scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with the professional record of six victories and five defeats. He stands six feet tall, and he weighed in at 204 pounds. From Bridgewater, Massachusetts, he's representing Lakeville MMA. Let's hear it for Roger Raji Bracken. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, with the professional record of 0 and 2. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, and he weighed in at 205 pounds. From Hampton, New Hampshire, he's representing Team Anubis and Team Nostos. Let's hear it for Ron Tough as Nails Marshall! Tough Our as referee nails for this indeed. light heavyweight matchup is John English. Big guys here. And he's doing a great job today as, you know, as the double, you know, double, double figure. Double he's doing a great job. No one does it better than him. Employee of the year. Roger Brackett in the white trunks. Ron Marshall in the black trunks. Heavy hands in there. Durable men in there. Let's see who's going to take an involuntary nap if the judges aren't needed. God, I think, I think we've already seen somebody take an involuntary nap enough for the rest of the evening. Jeez. Never enough. Wow. Big boys swing hard, they leave their chins high. It's gonna be a, a short night, short affair. Marshall Rob goes, with the single. Yep. Going for the, uh, the, that lead leg. Oh, they're going take for the trip bracket. now. Big oh, body lock belly, here. But ends up, oh, oh, ends up completing it, good job. There's a belly to belly, oh, I think he got hurt there. Might have dislocated Roger his Brackett there. goes for the throw. Great hips and balance from Ron Marshall, oh, who looks like he was able to force an oh. injury to a shoulder of Roger Brackett during the throw, silencing the crowd, winning by injury, scoring his first professional win. A there win is. is a win, and that happens in the game of mixed martial dub, arts. Dub, dub. That's in, just the power of some in, judo right in the there. World, right. In the words was, of every video game ever, dub's a dub, baby. Uh, that was a it was an impressive throw. He was he was about to be tripped. He used the momentum to go back and really really uh, throw Mr. Brackett over his, uh, his 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 hip. It's unfortunate that he, he landed the wrong way and his shoulder was dislocated. It seems, but uh, you know, good for good for Ron Marshall getting to the win column. And it's not like he it was an accident. He actually set up that technique and he did it very well. So in uh, midair, as he was getting thrown himself, he Except switched his belly balance, to belly to take down. bellied his hips and was able to land on top and injure Roger Brad. Here, it is. Here, here we go. Here. Turns it over, uses the Way momentum. Oh, oh, there it was. You saw it fell. Saw it right there. Ah, there it was. 26 seconds, round one, it's a TKO due to injury. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. And you know what? Excellent knew. sportsmanship yeah. there to stop, to stop uh, he knew himself that. from doing it because he saw that his opponent was injured. Great he class. Did not, yeah, absolutely. To hold back. Class act. Yeah, for sure. Ron recognized how hurt Roger was, held himself back, and he secured the W. There it is. Ron Marshall goes into the wing. You know, an the unfor pro ranks. unfortunate way to end a career, um, and and, uh, and a way out of mixed martial arts. I'm sure that he wanted to uh, to go out in the shield a little bit better, put on a little bit more of a performance. It's absolutely nothing he should be ashamed for. Getting injured in a fight happens. It's part of the game. So, uh, you know, I'm glad that he at least got in there. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these two warriors. <laughs> Referee John English has called a stop to this matchup at 26 seconds of round number one, giving you your winner due to TKO, due to submission, injury, Ron Marshall! 